Well, this week I've had to go serious because we have a pandemic on our hands. No comedy this week. Anyway, I'm afraid to say this is more of an information video than anything else. With regards to the coronavirus, a very, very, very good friend has sent me this wonderful audio from across the world. The Chinese have finally got a handle on the dangerous elements of the virus and how to deal with it. Please listen to it from start to finish. It's very important for all of us. Hi guys, um, just wanted to pass on this information. It was sent to me by a colleague who uh, has a friend that works at Dr. Negrin, which is uh, the main hospital on our island. Um, it's obviously in Spanish, so I'm just going to read it and translate it for you. Um, this is what it says. The Chinese now understand the behavior of the COVID-19 virus thanks to autopsies that they have carried out. This virus is characterized by obstructing respiratory pathways with thick mucus that solidifies and blocks the airways and lungs. So they have discovered that in order to be able to apply a medicine, you have to open and unblock these airways so that the treatment can be used to take effect. However, all of this takes a number of days. Their recommendations for what you can do to safeguard yourself are Number one, drink lots of hot liquids, coffee, soups, teas, warm water. In addition, take a sip of warm water every 20 minutes because this keeps your mouth moist and washes any, viral, any of the virus that's entered your mouth into your stomach where the gastric juices will neutralize it before it can get to the lungs. Number two, Gargle with an antiseptic in warm water, like vinegar or salt or lemon, every day if possible. Number three, the virus attaches itself to hair and clothes. Any detergent or soap kills it, but you must take a bath or a shower when you get in from the street. Avoid sitting down anywhere and go straight to the bathroom or shower. If you cannot wash your clothes daily, hang them in direct sunlight, which also neutralizes the virus. Number four, wash metallic surfaces very carefully because the virus can remain viable on these for up to nine days. Take note and be vigilant about touching handrails and door handles, etc. I guess within your own house as well, you can um, make sure that you are keeping those clean and wiping them down regularly. Number five, don't smoke. Number six, wash your hands every 20 minutes using any soap that foams. Do this for 20 seconds and wash your hands thoroughly. Um, number seven, eat fruits and vegetables. Try to elevate your zinc levels, not just your vitamin C levels. Number eight, animals do not spread the virus to people. It's person-to-person -person transmission. Number nine, try to avoid getting the common flu. I guess because this just already weakens your system. And try to avoid eating and drinking cold things. And number ten, if you feel any discomfort in your throat or a sore throat coming on, attack it immediately using the above methods. The virus enters the system this way and remains for three or four days within the throat before it passes into the lungs. Good luck to everyone. Take care of yourself and pass this information along if you wish. One thing I will say. A lot of ethnic minorities in the city of London where I live don't seem to be practicing the safety precautions against this pandemic. There's nothing macho about being dead. So let's all start wearing the gloves and the masks and stop the spread of this awful pandemic. There are many, many silent carriers out there, so if you don't have the gloves or the mask on, 
You may well be one of them. We don't want it to escalate, do we? Any more than it has. Let's stop the spread. Wear the gloves and wear the masks. Let's get our lives back.